Okay, today we're doing a bit of myth busting. Uh, most people have heard of the passive greenhouse concept, which is uh, where you have a water tank um, in your greenhouse um, and you insulate the north wall. I'll just show you this now. Um, and the idea is that the sun shines through like this in the daytime, it warms up the water and uh, at night time the water, the heat in the water comes out and keeps the greenhouse warm. And the idea is that you can extend the seeds and you can grow vegetables sooner and it's a far more efficient system. That's the general idea of it. Uh, and initially it sounds like um, an okay idea. This is the insulation on the north wall which improves the uh, heat efficiency of the greenhouse. Obviously you don't need the north wall glass because the sun shines from the south in the winter. And uh, let me get up the um, let me just get up the shadows. Uh, right, uh, we'll look, we can look at the time of day and the month. So we go, we've got uh, the the main time of the year. That this is going to be useful. Is going to be in the beginning of the season or the end of the season. So let's start and set the sh the shadows to. Uh, sort of February March and then we can set the time of day and that's the morning very early in the morning uh, the sun shines like that reflects down onto the uh, water tank and it heats it up the only problem with this sounds great doesn't it the only real problem is um, that it doesn't actually work uh, people came up with the concept of this um, but nobody did the maths. So the best thing we can do now is do the maths on paper. Right, let's do some maths. Uh, this is our passive storage heat vessel. Uh, it's water and it's one ton. That's our greenhouse and this is the sun. First we'll work out um, how much energy we can store in here. And that equation is E, which is the energy, is about 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram per degree C. There. That's our equation. We know that we have a thousand kilograms and we don't know the temp temperature differential but for calculation purposes we shall use something random like uh, let's call it 20 degrees C. Yeah? 20 degrees C and we're going to try and work out how much is energy we can store in this one ton of water and the uh, differential in temperature is the temperature of this tank compared to the temperature in the air because obviously if this tanks the same temperature as the greenhouse no energy will pass and the, ha the higher the temperature of this water the more energy is going to uh, flow out to the, the greenhouse so if we made a optimistic assumption of 20 degrees, at least we can find out what the energy is in 20 degrees. Uh, at, the, at this one ton, at 20 degrees differential is fairly simple maths, 20,000 kilojoules. Uh, now kilojoules is a measurement of energy per second so what we have to do with this is we have to divide by 3600 and that will give us uh, kilowatts per hour so 5.5 .5 kilowatt hours so this this would put out 5.5 uh, .5 kilowatt hours in an hour or two and a half that in two hours or a quarter of that in four hours 
so a quarter of that you know you're looking at about approximately maximum um one kilowatt hour for half a day that's what that look we'll call that uh one kilowatt hour for half a day so you you're running a one kilowatt heater for half the day basically uh, if we get a 20 degree differential now let's work out how much energy from the sun can go into our one ton of water okay let's have a look at the sunshine we know that the uh, sun puts out 1000 kilowatt hours per square meter in summer that's the max it, it, you can't get any more than that really so when you're looking at um winter time you're looking at a much lower level of sunshine realistically uh i did some calculations with solar panels and it was 30 times less in january so if we rounded that down to 10 times less because obviously february march april you'll get more and more light so we'll, we'll average it out from uh say september around to april something like that you could reasonably think that you're going to get um a tenth of that you know which is a uh, 100 watts basically per hour and you're going to get um four to six hours sunshine on a on a winter's day so we're looking at uh let's go half a kilowatt eh? that's 500 watts for per day that's what you're going to get out of the sun now it's got to shine through the, the greenhouse and it's got to shine that i've allowed a square meter of coverage and it's actually got to soak through the plastic and it's got to get into the water all of that loses efficiency uh, so realistically you're looking at uh, half that so 250 watts so you're only going to get 250 watts um, per day into your water if we looked at uh, back at this to, to um, work out how much any energy water will hold how much would 250 watts lift the temperature so uh, that is one twenty second of that. So the to get the um, amount of temperature we can increase this water by, we need to do, divide this by twenty two. So that's uh, twenty divided by twenty two is. 0 0.9 degrees C so in a day of sunshine in winter we can lift the water temperature by almost one degree that sounds about right to me so now what we've got to do is we've got to work out uh, on a cold night uh, what is the energy loss through the dome right a typical dome that I build, uh, we'll call it the GD15, right, has 15 square meters floor area, and uh, a well-designed dome um, skin is about twice that, uh, which is pretty pretty um, efficient actually. So we'll do uh, a small greenhouse like that. So we'll go, we'll do uh, 30 meters. And we're going to do the same temper di temperature differential. Uh, we're going to look at maybe um, we want to keep 10 degrees in the greenhouse, and we want to be able to not have it frost to down to minus 10. So, should we just we'll just do 10 degrees C? Right. Uh, that would be uh, 1.5 times 30 times 10. Just hit me up with that now. is 
450 watts. Round that up to say half a kilowatt. That's uh, half a kilowatt per hour to keep this uh, this dome 10 degrees about above outside temperature. So uh, oh, well, it's not not that bad actually. Um, if you heated this water to uh, what did we say 20 uh, what did we say this was above should have wrote that down um, I've got 20 degrees here 20 degrees heat that up to 20 degrees it's not degrees outside it would keep this above freezing uh, but sunshine comes out and it, uh, it rewarms this just one degree so if we redid the maths to how much energy is uh, in here for one degree, we simply have to divide this by 20. 5.5. Yeah, there's about 270 watts. 270 watts. Uh, and if you were to spread that over the day, you've got to divide that by uh, at least four. So, you know, you're, you're looking at about uh, 50 watts for four hours. You're going to get back out of this. It's not, it's nothing. You know, it's not, it just doesn't add up. Uh, it, this system will not keep your greenhouse warm. It'll, uh, and, and produce more vegetables and all that sort of stuff it won't happen because you don't there's not enough heat in the sun to warm the water it's only lifting it one degree and if you had to be fair if you had uh, a system here with a little um, boiler and you were heating this water up to 20 degrees it would work but the the, the idea that the sunshine warms the water which then puts out the heat into the greenhouse and keeps it warm at night doesn't work.